What is going on guys, Slick B here, and today we're going to be talking about the MiG-17. Now, I know that Fly talked about this today, and for good reason. It was just released today, that is coming to the game. I'm excited, uh, don't get me wrong, I love the MiGs, and it's going to be a fun plane to fly. But the only problem that I'm having is the MiG-15 is the best jet in the game, right now. Now, you can argue with me and say it's not... It is. It has the most upper hands in the game in the top jet combat. Now that being said, of course, they're not by very much, but the two big factors are climb rate, acceleration, right? So the MiG-15 wins both of those. It can outclimb any plane in the game, it can out accelerate any plane in the game. Guns, arguably, they're the second best in the game because the 30mm Aidens on the Hunter cannot be rivaled, right? So you have the second best shooting jet the fastest accelerating, the best climb rate. What does it lack in? Roll rate and, um, you know, top speed. So, what does the MiG-17 do? This complements the problems. So it adds top speed. Now, a lot of people are like, well, it's still gonna be slower than the Hunter. Yes, it is. And I don't know if it's gonna come with the engine that has an afterburner, I don't believe it will. If it does, that's fucked, but I don't think it does. So, I all my research, no afterburner, right? It has an armament of an N37, 37mm, and two NR23, 23mm cannons. Pretty much the same as the MiG-15. Now its climb rate is still pretty godlike, so it can go to 16,000 feet in two and a half minutes. And it can go to 32,000 feet in six minutes. And its service ceiling is close to 50,000 feet. So we have another MiG-15 uh, in that regard. You know, it's gonna climb very fast in the beginning of the game. Now, it's thrust to weight ratio. This is what, this is the big thing that everybody's overlooking. So we talk about the Hunter being the fastest plane in the, in the game, right? Arguably, the CL I think can go a little bit faster, but the Hunter, fast plane, right? So we have MiG-15, Hunter. MiG-15 will not catch a Hunter. It is like a 40, to 50 kph difference, right? Even with the MiG-15's thrust to weight ratio, which is 0.55, it will not really catch the Hunter in most situations. So let's talk about this. MiG-17 top speed, 1,100 kph. The Hunter's is 1,107. So it has seven kph on the plane. The Hunter is seven kph faster. This will catch a hunter in most situations. It's seven KPH is not enough to make a huge difference. Now, the, the real problem where this really lies is I, I've yet to hear somebody talk about this. The MiG-17's thrust to weight ratio. Now, this, I could be wrong. This could be with the afterburner, but from what I found, the thrust to weight ratio on a MiG-17 is 0.63. Want to know what the Hunter's is? 0.46. What does that tell you? Well, that tells us that the MiG-17 has almost double the thrust. I, or, okay, it has, what, a, a third or something like that? But it has a lot more thrust to weight than the Hunter. So the Hunter's only advantage on this plane will be its guns and it's top speed. But if the MiG-17 can achieve its top speed before the Hunter can, can, how are you gonna outrun it? At, even at that, why would you want to outrun it? So that's that's the problem that, um, that we're facing here, is that the MiG-17 has incredible thrust weight and it will catch an hunt, a Hunter. Now that's not to say that we're not gonna be able to shoot down MiG-17s. And as far as everything else, I mean, it's just gonna be a MiG-15 on steroids. It's gonna catch everybody faster. So, if we have a problem with the MiG-15 now, we're gonna have a problem with the MiG-17, right? Now, I'm not saying I don't kill MiG-15s, but I also am not saying I face MiG-15s in a vampire today. I played a vampire in stream and I faced MiG-15s. So that means this will have the same BR as a MiG-15, right? They're not gonna add a BR for this plane. It's gonna have the same BR, it's gonna be a 9.0. So imagine a MiG-17 now versus a vampire. Imagine a MiG-17 versus an F2H. These are the problems that we need to focus on, guys. Yes, it's cool. Yes, it may not be super OP, 
But if we look at the details, this is what breaks the game. When little shit like this happens, right? Adding one plane without a counter. They added the hunter, but it already had a counter. It was going to be what? The fastest plane in the game? Have, if you've played the hunter, you can't complain about it. You know it's shit at rolling. Well, it's all right at rolling. It's shit at turning. It has no acceleration. It feels like a slug. And it has the best guns in the game. That's what the It's a gun platform. It's a steady gun platform. People can do fantastic in the hunter. I love it. But when a plane has all the advantages, that it takes the fun out of it. You know what I mean? It, it, uh, it ruins some of the stuff. So what I want to know from you guys is, one, if you don't agree with me, tell me why. If you do agree with me, that's awesome. What do you want Gaijin to add to counter this? Because I believe it needs a counter. Every plane needs a counter. Um, some planes that came to the top of my head, but I don't know the specifications of them, obviously is the Super Saber, a different version of the Hunter, and I don't know what else. Uh, honestly, I don't. But, you know, maybe they'll add a MiG-29 soon too. But anyway, it's been your boy Slick. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, oh yeah, beside, beside that, I'm not hating on Gaijin. It's just, I'm, I'm questioning if it's too soon, you know, for a plane like this. But then again, it might work perfectly, you know, and then maybe I'll look like the asshole. They're doing fantastic things for the British tech tree, and we'll be talking about that next. I'm probably going to get a video out of that today, too, because I, I made a video on it, kind of, but then I had to redo it because they keep pumping out stuff for the British tanks, which I'm super excited for. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just keep your mind open about things, you know? Really question if it's the right move, if you think it's the right move. And if not, I mean, everybody can have their own opinions. You guys can disagree with me. But if you disagree with me, don't tell me I'm stupid. Just tell me why you disagree. As always, your boy Slick. See you guys in the next one. Peace.